From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, August 5th, 2014. In the news, the League of Women Voters of the Tanana Valley is sponsoring a legislative candidate forum this Thursday at the Tanana Valley State Fair. The forum, which is to be held in the Big White Pavilion, will feature state legislative candidates from eight interior districts. Candidates for Senate District A and C, as well as House Districts 1 through 6, will participate from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Registered voters can take part in the group's straw poll by filling out a sample ballot. Results of the polling will be updated regularly and displayed on the back wall of the booth. The Alaska Railroad Corporation will host a ribbon-cutting ceremony today to celebrate the completion of the Tanana River Bridge. This is Alaska's newest and longest bridge, and it's been in the making for quite some time. It's called the Tanana River Crossing, and that bridge is the first phase of the Northern Rail Extension, which will cost a total of $188 million to build. Congressman Don Young, who's visiting the interior, plans to participate in the ceremony. And the Alaska Department of Transportation and Public Facilities, in partnership with HC Contractors Incorporated, is starting construction on the Richardson Highway Way Station project at mile 358. Travelers should expect lane closures, truck crossings, flaggers, and double fine zones. Most work will take place during the day. However, there will be no traffic restrictions Monday through Friday from 7 to 8 a.m. northbound and 4 to 6.30 p.m. southbound. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, cloudy with scattered showers in the morning, then rain likely in the afternoon. Patchy fog and highs in the lower to mid 60s. Tonight, cloudy with scattered rain showers in the evening, lows in the mid to upper 40s. Then tomorrow, mostly cloudy with isolated rain showers and highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Extended forecast, chance of rain through Friday, then mostly cloudy for the weekend, and highs should stay right close to 70. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6, bringing you the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.